welcome to the Week in Review, your one-stop shop for everything that happened in the NEO ecosystem over the past week. As always, if you appreciate what you're seeing, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button, to follow our YouTube feed, to leave a comment below, and to share this video with friends and family. Any one and or all of those actions really does help us get these videos in front of more eyes and ears. With all that said, let's kick this week off. In ecosystem news, Secure released its findings of a recent NeoX EVM sidechain audit. The audit involves various different issues that were found with the EVM sidechain, and in the report, Neo also identified ways in which those problems were fixed. Neo announced that it is going to be a platinum sponsor for the WebEx 2024 conference taking place in Tokyo, Japan on August 28th and 29th. WebEx 2024 is produced by CoinPost, which is Japan's largest Web3 media entity. Web3X 2023 attracted approximately 16,500 attendees from more than 40 countries around the world. Neo Global Development's head of ecosystem growth, John Wong, is also scheduled to speak at the event. COZ hosted an AMA on the Neo subreddit to field questions from the community about the forthcoming Neon Wallet v3, which will be a multi chain non custodial wallet. Several members of the COZ team were on hand to field and answer questions from the community, which were largely about the forthcoming roadmap. Head over to the NEO subreddit to check out a copy of the COZ AMA. The Ghost Market Cross and Multi Chain NFT Marketplace recently introduced a new feature called Lucky Buy, which allows the opportunity for users to potentially purchase NFTs at a reduced price. The Lucky Buy process is based on a random number generation that allows users to roll for a reduced bid on an NFT. If successful, the user acquires the NFT at a reduced price, which is subsidized by the ghost market treasury. If the roll fails, the gas fees that were spent on the bid are then sent instead to the treasury. The feature is currently available on the NEO N3 blockchain and is expected to expand to EVM integrated chains in the near future. Ghost market also implemented support for NEO chat an address-to-address -address encrypted messaging service that allows users to send direct messages to N3 wallet addresses. Neo SPCC shared a video update to provide progress that the ecosystem development community has made in June and July of this year. Updates included two NeoGo releases, storing Neo N3 blocks on the Neo FS distributed storage network, the launch of Neo X, and a release of the DBFT that's a prerequisite to the anti MEV features that will soon to be implemented in the Neo X EVM sidechain. Both Edge and I co hosted Crypto Coffee and Blockchain Beer number 29 on the official Smart Economy Podcast X page. Topics of discussion included account abstraction on Neo N3 and the recent successes of the Neopod Ambassador program. Additionally, Axlabs founder Gil Machado joined us to talk about the Neo X native bridge, what has surprised him most about the launch of the EVM sidechain, and projects that are already building on Neo X. Head over to the Smart Economy Podcast X page to hear a recording of the space. And in upcoming events, next Friday, Edge and I will be co-hosting Crypto Coffee and Blockchain Beer number 30. And don't forget that on August 28th and 29th, Neo is a platinum sponsor for the WebEx 2024 conference taking place in Tokyo. Well, that just about wraps up everything that happened in the Neo ecosystem over the past week. As always, if you appreciated this video, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button, to follow our YouTube feed, to leave a comment below and to share this video with friends and family. And of course, if you're a NEO token holder, please consider voting for NEO News today as your council representative. We have proudly been serving the NEO ecosystem since 2017 and will continue to do so by putting portions of our council rewards directly back into ecosystem growth initiatives. So with all that said, we are already looking forward to catching you next week.